What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 video. Today, I wanna test out this idea I had for a Kamoa team. You know, ever since Kamoa has gotten access to Body Press, it's been somewhat usable in like every format. Even if it's not the best, it's you've been able to like get away with it. So I figured I'd try something out with that today. Uh, before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite dragon type of all the generations? I, you know, I think Kamoa is probably like my top two, if not my single favorite. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of close between Dredagon and Kamoa. I'm a big Dredagon fan. It's just a really bad Pokemon. So Kamoa is going to be taking the place of it in this video. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Kamo is interesting in the fact that it gets overcoat, so it is immune to like everything that um, Amoongus wants to go for. Uh, but it also has access to body press with uh, stab and a pretty high defense stat of 125, so it's strangely usable. There aren't very many fighting types that get body press and a high defense stat, so this thing's gonna be really cool to use. Uh, we're mostly specially defensive, we're able to tank a hit from. Well, I'm, I count it pretty much that at plus two, if we intimidate the Zacian and bring it down to neutral, we're always going to live a play rough. So yeah, uh, also we're just hard walling Groudon and we have enough speed to outspeed Groudons that hit 112, which is the magic number for outspeeding Calyrex Shadow under Trick Room. So yeah, or under uh, Tailwind. Sorry if I mess up my words in this video. I'm pretty tired. I'm recording this like really late at night right before I go to bed because I got classes in the morning. Uh, but yeah. Next to it, we have my bulky Zacian crown set. Wow, that is not the bulky Zacian crown set. What happened there? What happened there? Let me, uh, oh, this is embarrassing. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm crying, I'm crying. Where is, where is this thing? Hold on. Uh, I just gotta rip that from another team. You, you, I don't know what happened to that. No wonder, I, I, no wonder the thing didn't seem as bulky as it was supposed to be. There we go. All right, cool. So now we have the Zacian Crown set. Very bulky, very bulky. Why did that open up Smogon? We have an Assault Vest Veltal. Uh, I don't have Sucker Punch on it. I opted to run Foul Play over that. I just think Foul Play is a really good move. Uh, so I, you know, Foul Play Veltal goes crazy. Actually, mm, I'm gonna put Sucker Punch on it. I'm gonna put Sucker Punch on it because we have Foul Play on the Thunderous, which I'm also thinking about dropping for Eerie Impulse, but we'll see where that goes. This team's still within testing. That's where we're on the Silky Baritone account. Um, it's just a concept. I've played a few games and it's been pretty okay. So, you know, I just want to get a couple of games on video and see how it, how well it works and show it off to you guys. Uh, we have Safety Goggles, Incineroar, Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blood, Snarl, Bulky, Thunderous, uh, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Foul Play, Rain Dance. It is a three hit KO from uh, non-Life Orb, Calyrex Shadow, uh, Astro Brush, since Focus Ash is pretty common now. Like that's like a good thing. And we're also rocking Rain Dance because next to GMAX Blastoise, that's actually really fun tech. Uh, this is just a set that I stole from Brady in, in the Route 1 podcast discord. Also, I'm going to link it in the video for once. I have a podcast you should check out. Route 1 podcast, uh, me, Atrix, MJ, uh, an untitled folder and Mercury are all on there. We just talk about Pokemon and other BS. It's, it's mostly just like a friend's podcast, but you know, we talk about Pokemon there too. But yeah, just a bulky Blastoise, just a bulky boy. Today's gonna be a bit of a casual video. I'm pretty tired. Let's just see how many wins we can get with this team. If we get zero, whatever. If we get one, poggers, you know? Maybe not the highest level of gameplay tonight, but uh, I guess this is gonna be one of those videos that you just put on while you play Minecraft, I guess. <laughs> GLHF, okay. This is pretty interesting. Uh, I think my ladder decayed a bit or something, I don't know. I might have lost a few games. This is like my alt account, but it's usually not this low on the ladder. They really, really hate Eveltal. Like they have nothing for it. Uh, I think that I should like always go Eveltal on Thunderous here. They honestly have like no counterplay. I'm somewhat tempted to bring the Blastoise as well. Like a lead Blastoise could annihilate them if they're unprepared for it. Maybe, I'm gonna go with the Blastoise lead actually initially. And I'm gonna bring the Evelta on the back. And I think as my last Mon, um, I kinda wanna bring Zacian, but I think I actually get quite a bit of value out of Incineroar as well. Uh, we'll go Zacian though, we'll go Zacian. Okay, they do go with the Calyrex Ice Tentacruel lead. Not the best for me, but I should be able to Thunder Wave this bad boy and get in my Evelta. I'm wondering if they're just like Acid Spray. They could be Acid Spray. I'm thinking that might be what they're doing, like Scarf Acid Spray. That's a little concerning. <laughs> that is a little concerning. 
but I am Assault Vest, so, you know, you've all tell Wall it's not going to comfortably take the hit, it'll take it. I feel like that's the only reason you'd run, like, a Tentacruel on a non-rain team. It's decently fast, you put a Scarf on it, it'll do stuff. Oh, it's actually Dynamaxing. Hello, sir. What's your favorite color? Max Hailstorm. We're a little too thick for that. They get fully paralyzed, cry about it. Uh, we'll Thunder Wave you and we'll click Snarl. I mean, if I connect this, they're probably just gonna they're just gonna forfeit. If I connect the Thunder Wave, that's gonna be a forfeit. Maybe they're like, I don't know. Maybe they're like Max Ooze into Calyrex Shadow Attacks. Maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe they just really like this guy. Yeah, we just get the forfeit. Nice. Okay, so that was a easy game one. You know, yeah, that counts as a win. Hold, uh, you know, that totally counts as a win. All right, this is interesting. Um, Calyrex Shadow Zacian with, geez, VGC 2018 in here. Um, let me think. I do want to lead off Eveltal, but I also see very little reason not to go with the Thundee Blastoise lead again. They just don't have much to like deal with it. If they don't lead off with the Calyrex Shadow, they have nothing to deal with the, th uh, with the Thundee Blastoise. Uh, I'm going to bring Eveltal on the back, obviously, and I think my last one... Uh, Zacian's good, Incineroar's good, we're just gonna go Zashi again. Hopefully at some point I can bring the Kamoa. You might be wondering, Marcos, what is the Kamoa for? What does it do besides make your Calyrex Ice matchup worse? Nothing. It's mainly just meant to be good in the Groudon matchup, and that's it. Like, nothing else. Okay, cool. So this is exactly what I wanted. I want to annihilate the Zacian. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Just max cannonade it. And I shouldn't lose my Thunderous here, I'm pretty bulky. They're probably just going to Tailwind. But I believe Rain Boosted Wave Incense uh, Max Cannonade should do it. They're Wild Charge. Hello, sir. Yeah, no, you're losing that now. You've lost your privileges on that guy. No. No more of that. No more of that, sir. I really didn't like that. Alright, there's the Cali Shadow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Thunder Wave you. And uh, now seems like a good... Do I want to go hard into Evaltal or just max guard here? I think I want to max guard first and Thunder Wave just to stall out a couple of Tailwind turns. And then I can deal with that win as a cot. Yeah. Good call, Marcos. Good call. Nice. And here, um, I mean, I can always Sucker Punch, so I'm not really too concerned about this. I'm just going to go ahead and Thunder Wave this guy and uh, go for the max Hailstorm. Let's see if I get lucky on the Calyrex. Nope, no luck there. Uh, however, I do now have Sucker Punch, and there's a Whimscott in the field, so they don't have too much counterplay for this. I'm going to go ahead and just Behemoth Blade Sucker Punch. Yeah, no, that's that's always my best play. Like, even if they switch out the Calyrex, I'm probably fine. Actually, maybe I double? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't double. What's your last mod? Primarina? That'd be kind of cool. Their Tailwind's also gone now, so I'm like, fine. Lando, ooh. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I really doubt you take this very well, though. I'm just gonna Dark Pulse and Behemoth Blade you. Yeah, no, you're, you're losing this. Sucker Punch like eight times in a row. Prevent you from boosting, and then I just foul play you. It's all good. Or not foul play, Dark Pulse. I'm going to consistently forget that I don't have foul play on this guy, and that's going to be like a running theme of the video. I guarantee you that. Ooh, okay, no. Now is the time. Now is the time for the Kamoa to shine. Trust me. Trust me. I'm definitely not going to lose to <laughs> G-Max Charizard. Uh, geez, I really want to bring this. You know, it, Whether I win or lose this, I need to use the Kamoa at least once in this video. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Uh, I'm also going to bring Thunderous and Blastoise, and my last Mon is going to be the Eveltal. Okay, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too upset about this. I should be able to do what I want to do. Let me go ahead and get in the Blastoise here. Do I want to do that? Uh, yeah, I'm going to get in the Blastoise. And I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. They don't switch out, which is awesome. If I get lucky here, that'd be great. 
G Max Wildfire, that's fine. Um, because I should be good to do exactly what I want to do here. I'm just gonna rain dance up. And their options for dealing with uh, my Blastoise get really, really bad after this. I'd really love it if the Groudon would hit the field right now. No? No luck? Alright, Charizard's dealt with. No full paralysis. And now I feel a little bit better about getting my Kamo on the field, but I'm probably just going to lose to that Groudon, or the, the Zacian if it's in the back. If I'm being real with you guys. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Let me uh, cannonade him. And... I mean, I can bank on getting really lucky here with an Iron Defense. Yo? Oh, that's not great. That's actually not that great. <laughs> um, Especially with that damage I'm taking from the Wildfire. I think I might just cannonade and protect here. They got Sacred Sword too. Spirit Break. And I get fully paralyzed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How do I deal with this? I mean, I can just Water Spout and Body Press, and that might do the trick. Since Sacred Sword shouldn't KO me, I'm going to break the sub here at plus two Body Press. They actually go for that, so I'm probably not going to KO now. Dude, Blastoise, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. I'm going to Water Spout. I think he just wants Sacred Sword again. If he subs, good on him. All right, all right. How do I do this? How do I do this? Um, definitely not within Sucker Punch range. I'm just gonna say that right now. I think I have to go for a double. I fail. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Maybe Snarl will do it. Nah, GG. Yeah, that really sucked. Uh, I got fully paralyzed three turns in a row. I think I definitely could have won that. Ooh, okay. Uh, Blastoise Colossal is kind of interesting. I mean, I'm a pretty specially defensive Kamoa. I am pretty specially defensive, but uh, they don't really have much to deal with this. I'm just going to go Thunderous Blastoise. I'm going to try to annihilate them immediately. I definitely want my Incineroar in this game to help deal with like all the physical attackers they got. You know, being three. And I think my last Mon is probably going to want to be the Zacian. Okay. So that wasn't great. Uh, I'm gonna go into my Incineroar here. And I think I'm fine just going for a Thunder Wave on the Rillaboom, why not? Go for the Fake Out, that's fine. Snarl. Oh, that was very bold of you, sir. Considering what could have happened there. Alright, uh, I'll go for the Flare Blitz here. There's not really a reason to fake out when I can just get free damage on, like, everything. And... I think here it's in my best interest just to Thunderbolt, considering their Life Orb. Yeah. I mean, that did decent damage. 33%. Let me think. Definitely want to Thunder Wave the Blastoise and just try my luck. This should let me go first if I connect. Nice, and I'll get in my Blastoise. He gets fully paralyzed. Finally, some justice for Marcos boosted. And here, um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hailstorm. And switch in my Incineroar. To reduce the damage I'm taking from this. Maybe I can like reverse my luck and have this guy get uh, fully paralyzed three turns in a row. That's AV. There's the cannonade. All right. Uh, now it's our turn to cannonade him. Definitely thinking here that my play is going to be to parting shot once more. I'm not even going to fake out. Get rid of the Veltal, which is actually really nice for me. Going to get in my Thunderous. Let's so go for a strike. Interesting. And I should be able to get back in my Incineroar. And now that he's taking cannonade damage and hail, I'm just going to hailstorm him again and get in the incinerator here. 
Okay, all right. He actually goes for the Hydro Cannon. Kind of cool with that, actually, because I can go for the Water Spout and the Thunder Wave. Still good. Still good that I get this off. Because Water Spout plus Hail plus Cannonade. It's all stacking up. Nice. This Grassy Terrain's almost gone, too. Uh, I think it's my play here just to go for the Water Spout once more and a Foul Play, because he can't... Yeah, he can't deal with both of these things. Oh, maybe he can. <laughs> maybe he can. All right, now things are getting a little bit interesting. Um, hypothetically, I'm in a better spot than he is. Especially since he's fully paral... If he gets fully paralyzed here. I mean, he can't knock me out with Hydro Cannon, so I should just go for the, the Behemoth Blade and hope for the best. Which is more. I, mean, I guess it's just smarter. All right. He goes for the Hydro Cannon and my Blastoise, interestingly enough. I disagree with that play a lot. <laughs> as long as I don't get crit here, I should be fine. Nice. 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 And I'm going to Water Spout here and Protect. <laughs> Because he's just going to Hydro Cannon me, I'm sure. And if he Hydro Cannons this thing, I should always win. Yep. Uh, Water Spout again. Water Spout does more than Ice Beam, doesn't it? Let me let me do some math real quick, make sure I'm not being dumb. 42 times 1.5, 60. Actually, Ice Beam does more. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All right, good game. <laughs> good game. All right, nice. That was, uh, that was an interesting one. That was uh, a little bit risky. <laughs> a lot of uh, paralysis. Just helping me out there. Hopefully we can face another Sun team so Kamoa can do something this game. As we face a Kyogreization team. Uh, kind of interesting. They have a Ditto and an Ndidi. I'm thinking... I definitely don't bring the Komodo this game. Definitely don't. I want to lead off Thunderous here. And I think Eveltal. I'm going to do something a little bit nasty. Let's also go with the Zacian, and I kind of want to go with the Blastoise. Yeah. Okay. What went first? Let me see. Yveltal's Dark Aura, Kyogre's Drizzle. That's a pretty slow Kyogre. That is a pretty slow Kyogre. Um. So, I mean, I want to say that the Thunderous is just going to be defiant. And that lets me do something kind of nasty to him, if this works out. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. He's on me hit him with the nasty. My Thunderous is slower than my Eveltal. And I can totally take a water spout, right? I don't. I don't. Never mind. That was dumb. Good game. Good game. Alright, good game. I was expecting a max lightning there. I was I was literally just gonna hit him with the, the plus two foul play in the dark aura. I was I was thinking I was gonna be smart there. I was not. It was dumb. I regret everything. Okay, let me see. I mean, Thundee looks great here on lead. Thundee does look great. Um, as well as uh, Regieleki. Or Regieleki is kind of like, mm, it's kind of scary. But I also want to bring the Blastoise. I think, if I, if I recall, this Blastoise is guaranteed to take a hit from Regieleki. As long as it's not like life or physical, right? I forget. I forget, but I'm going to bank on that. It's pretty bulky. It's pretty bulky. All right. Let's also bring the Eveltal and the Zacian, and we're not going to think about it. All right, Kyogre Tornadus. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that, that seems pretty smart. Uh, let's go for the Cannonade on the Tornadus. As they let us go for the Thunder Wave here. Save me, Thunder Wave. No, there goes Thunderous, but we really didn't need him. Not for anything more than that. Uh, now I'm going to get in my Eveltal. 
There's their Eveltal. And now we get to play my favorite game. Whose Snarl is faster? I mean theirs, because they have Thunder Wave, but I get to go for this. This is still going to hit like a truck. Jeez, dude. That's probably like Scarf then. Actually, no, they're definitely just faster than me. Alright. Um, I should be able to win this via Sucker Punch carrying me. And I'm also somewhat tempted to max strike the Eveltal. See if it works out. Yep. Nice. And that's now within Sucker Punch range. So I'm going to go for that. And I suppose I can just go for a... The reason I want to Sucker Punch the Veltal is I think Kyogre might switch out and want to swap its move. Yeah, they just sucker me, so I fail and I lose. I mean, their Tailwind is gone. It depends what's in the back. It's probably just going to be Regieleki and they're probably just going to Dynamax, so... All right, Lando, let's see if I can crit. I don't crit, um, but they didn't Dynamax, so. Wait, did they already Dynamax? Am I stupid? No, they didn't. All right, do that again. Fail to water spot me again. Let's go, let's go. Carried. Absolutely carried. Bruh. I know. GG. <laughs> Absolutely carried by that. Thank you, Thunder Wave. I mean, like, Thunder Wave lost me a game earlier today, so I'll take the W. I'll take the W. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Let's try to do uh, one or two more. I'm getting a little sleepy here. Um, Jeez, there's a lot of Rillaboom on the ladder today. I really haven't been seeing that much of it recently either, so that's kind of interesting. The Medectric could be Howl. It's probably just like Lightning, Rod, Snarl, Volt Switch, Eerie Impulse. Something like that. And I'm thinking here... The Eveltal lead's actually really nice. Like, it, it's really nice. Regardless of whether we win or lose, I have yet to really use this this Kamo, so I'm gonna do my best to make it work here. I'm gonna do my best to make it work here. Even though, like, this is just gonna be like the last battle of the video, even though I know it's bad in this matchup, I wanna try to get it to do something. It's meant to face Sun, but we've only faced Rain today. Uh, let's lead off with it. Let's go Kamo, Eveltal. Or no, Kamo, Incineroar. Do I need that? Nah. I'm gonna go Kamo, Thunderous, Veltal's Ashen. Okay, yeah. Uh, this isn't that bad. I think what I want to do here is just Thunder Wave the Porygon Z. I don't know if Kyogre wants to stay here. If Kyogre switches out... Then I just take the Porygon Z from him. Unless Porygon Z Dynamaxes, in which case I don't. Nice. Kamo did something. Shout out Kamo. Thank you so much. And he also dodges that, which is pretty awesome. Alright, there's the Eveltal. I mean, like, I don't expect Kamo to do too much more this game. Uh, I'd really appreciate Thunder Waving this Kyogre, so I'm going to do that right now. And here, uh, I should probably just sack it. I should probably just sack it. Uh, I'm going to double into this Kyogre. They go for the Airstream, there goes Kamo. Thank you, you did your job, you did a thing. Alright. Let's see what we can get done here. Go for the max airstream into you and a protect here. 
mostly concerned with the Kyogre. Velta doesn't do too much to a special defensive Zacian like mine, so uh, we have a priority straight. All right, never mind. Uh, that is a move that would do something to my special defensive Zacian. Pretty anti-synergistic, if I'm being honest, with the uh, with the whole I have a Kyogre on my team thing going on here. Um, but now I'm definitely faster than it, so I'm pretty tempted just to double down, like Behemoth Blade, Max Airstream. Oh, and I get the crit. Yo, shout out to uh, shout out to Evaltal carrying the team, MVP. Nice. All right. I mean, I know. <laughs> I know this might have not this might have not been like the most high quality of battles today, but listen, the Kamo got a kill on a niche Pokemon on my opponent's team. That's all I can ask it to do. I really wanted to see the Sun matchup because it, it is actually pretty decent into Sun. I've been able to beat some Groudon and Venusaur pretty effectively with how hard it shuts that down, but uh, no such luck on the ladder today. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video by leaving a like on it, commenting down below, check out my Discord, uh, and yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.